All right, this game is what we call the numbers game. For the numbers game, we divide the kids into two teams and we give each person a number. All right, so each team has numbers one, two, three, four, and five on one side and numbers one, two, three, four, and five on the other. All right, so you get them, you line them up on the side here. You have two separate teams. You're in the middle with the soccer ball and then you call out a number, you roll the ball, they're gonna run onto the field, they're gonna go around the goal, around the goal, and meet the ball in the middle, all right? Once they get that soccer ball, the other, the other person who doesn't have the ball is playing defense, the person that does have the ball is playing offense. They're trying to score on the goal across from them. All right, so to set up for the numbers game, you're gonna have to put the goals about three feet away from the edge of the field. All right, so there's room for people to go behind the goal. All right, so the way to set up the teams, the best way to set up the teams is to have two separate teams. Just, you know, number them off. You have the red team and then you have the black team. Good. Now you're gonna go to each individual soccer bug and give them a number. All right, so Gregory, you're number one. Hector, you're number two. Evelyn, you're number three. All right. The best way to make sure that they know is to ask them again. What's your number? One. What's your number? Two. What's your number? Three. All right, you might even want to test them. Raise your hand if you're number two. Number one. Number three. Number two. All right, and then you go to the next team and do the same thing. All right, that way everybody on the field understands their number and they know when to go. So, the way this works is the first two, or I guess the number that you call, they're gonna run around the goal. Go ahead, run around the goal. Run around, I have to get around the goal. You play the ball into the middle with a nice touch and she's going the wrong way. She has to turn around. <laughs> there we go, and that will happen. You never know. All right, so she's playing offense and the other person is playing defense. She's trying to score on her opposite goal. If it, yep, there we go. Okay, Hester, take it from her. There we go, good. Now he's playing offense and she's playing defense. There we go, good. Oh, and out of bounds. If it goes out, we have everybody regroup and we start with a different number. All right, so depending on the number of kids you have, you want to make sure you're doing a progression. So you'll have one versus one, you'll have two versus two, three versus three, and even four or five versus five. At the end, you want to make sure you call all the numbers so that all the kids are running out and playing against each other for the last round. For the last round, you want to call all the numbers that you have. So for in this case, we have numbers one, two, and three. All right, one, two, three, go around. All right, if you wanna add some creativity, there's a couple of different variations. So you can have them do two star jumps before they run, or two sit-ups before they run, or two push-ups before they run. Anything to get them activated before they get around the, the goal and come to the middle.